Omaha, Nebraska could see storms move in as early as tonight, sticking around the next few days. So if you are heading to the College World Series at TD Ameritrade Park, be prepared for the possibility of foul weather. Omaha has picked up one and a quarter inches of rain this month already. They're running about two inches above average for the year. And as we take a look at rain in terms of what's coming our way, we are going to be watching for this big high pressure off the coast of the U.S. This actually controlling a lot of what's happening over here as we just see that tropical moisture continue to move in. And so we don't change the pattern this week. The high pressure stays there. The boundary stays here. Disturbances roll along this boundary. And that's going to mean that we get into several rounds of showers and thunderstorms. So this boundary just kind of drifts. And even once it goes away, there's another one that comes in and kind of takes it, its place um, here by the end of the week right across the Midwest and the Northeast. So when we look at the potential for rainfall, there's a couple areas we can hone in on for too much rain and the potential for flooding. One is going to be tomorrow into Wednesday morning with that potential cluster of storms that will develop watching around Kansas City and Wichita and back towards Tulsa. So that's going to be one spot that we watch. But then also in the Mid-Atlantic, we've got a couple of days of rain. Remember I told you today and then again tomorrow into Wednesday morning. So this is another zone that we're looking at for potential flash flooding it's just going to add up and you know streams and creeks will start to get swollen at some point the soil moisture could not handle a whole lot more so we'll watch those two areas tomorrow's forecast we do have that smattering of showers everywhere but we have a smattering of showers everywhere on wednesday as well so every day you're going to be watching the radar you're going to be watching us to help you know help you fine tune your day out there with scattered showers and storms three to five inches of rain locally but a widespread one to two or two to three inches of rain possible so how does that rank for this month? Let's take a look. I want to show you how much rain has fallen across the nation this entire month. And the southeast has done very well. I know you needed rainfall, uh, but we just had a beautiful week in the southeast. But we, before that, had gotten some really good beneficial rainfall here when it comes to the drought. We had a lot of rain across parts of Indiana and uh, Kentucky and then across the mid-Atlantic. Of course, east, southeast Texas, Louisiana, big, big rain, too much rain in spots over this past month here and so in June. When we compare this to the drought monitor. Um, remember, we were starting to see the drought build across the south and east. And last week, we had a nice improvement, especially over portions of northern Georgia. Um, southeastern Georgia didn't get as much rain, but nice improvement over, over southeastern or over northeastern uh, and northern parts of Georgia, thanks to the rain that we've had so far this month. Atlanta is one place that stands out. Uh, on the map as we take a live look this morning. Last month's below average rainfall led to abnormally dry conditions for the area, but in June, there were 10 days of at least a trace of rain and one day reporting 3.9 inches of rain that fell. So that definitely helped away, sort of chipping away at the drought. The heavy rain, though, also caused roads to flood, like we saw here in Charleston, South Carolina. Right now, you are five and a half inches below average for your annual rainfall. But so far this month, you saw more than three inches above average. So. Let's talk more about how this made a dent on the drought monitor. As mentioned, we had some nice improvements coming in across northern parts of Georgia. Um, the Charleston area really improved as well. Just a few spots here in South Georgia just didn't get the rain that they needed to dry out. But we did see a lot of improvements over the south and east thanks to the rain this month. And the fact that temperatures weren't as hot either because May wasn't just dry to wrap up the month. It was hot, so there's so much evaporation happening. Here's where we are. Atlanta actually running above average now, now still below in Jacksonville, Tallahassee, and in Charleston.